Hi YouTube, Katie, Florida Experience here, I'm Katie. Uh, I just set up a tackle box that I got for fishing out here, because I really want to go fishing. I'm weird that way. I will turn this around here in just a second, and I will show you my what I have in there, and hopefully somebody can explain some of this stuff to me, because some of these things are really wonky, and I don't understand what they're for, so hopefully somebody in the comments can explain it to me. Alright, this is a tackle box. This I know what it is. It's, I'm trying to get it to where you can see it. Kaylin's trying to hold our little lantern up there. It's a 60 inch quick measure tape measure the size of your fish and then this weird doodad which I'm assuming is a bobber but there was like no instructions on how you hook it up any anybody who can explain that one to me would be nice this is what I thought was cool it's a multi-tool I'm trying to do this with one hand, so pardon me if I'm fumbling. Sorry, I'm going to use my foot for a second here. Ugh. Is this good or do I need a little light? No, that's good. But it has pliers, you know, so if you have to get the hook out. But it's got other tools in here. I might have to uh, hold the thing and have Kay and the camera, the light in the camera, because it's kind of dark outside right now. Okay, go ahead and redo that. Kaylin, what do, what do we have? We have one knife right here. We got a bottle opener there. We got a, I think it's supposed to be like a mixture, but it looks like it's supposed to be like a flathead screwdriver. We have a little teeny tiny knife right there. Mm -hmm. We have this knife, but it's got kind of like, it's a serrated knife looking thing. Mm -hmm. And this looks like a thing, like a little screwdriver of some sort right here. Mm -hmm. A knife again, and another bottle of blood. And then we pull that back out if I can get it to cooperate. I think I, I think it's locked. There we go. Yeah, it is locked. We just got this, so. <coughs> and there's the plier part. And there's the pliers. So multi-tool and plier all in one. Okay, these are the type of hooks that one of my coworkers told me to try to get. A wide gate worm hook. That's it. We got one in red and one in like a bronze or silvery or gray or whatever color it is. But slightly bigger than these ones. It's a little bit bigger. We've got these are, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a 3.0. The red ones are a 3.0. And the bigger ones are, the other ones are a 5.0. I haven't found the other ones, but I did have, there was a set of 4.0, but they're probably fell out of this thing in my car. Then, if anybody can please explain to me what swivels are used for, I would be, it would be greatly appreciated because those came with the kit too. Don't know what to use them for. So, in the comments, again, Please tell me what swivels are used for. Also, there were redfish sea trout hooks. I don't know if redfish and sea trout are saltwater, freshwater, both water. We're kind I have of no idea. greenhorns when it comes to fishing. We're kind of greenhorns with this. We came from New Mexico where you only had trout to fish for. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then you have. This one I know is a saltwater one. Saltwater premium snailed fish hooks. 
came in the kit. These are a couple of, uh, weights. I guess they're weights with hooks attached to them. Caitlin, you want to take one of those out sure. and show it to the camera? Yeah, I can get it to open. And yes, you're going to notice there's a big yellow spray bottle. This we got for our little doggy pixie. It's insect repellent for dogs. This is a weighted hook. It's like a weighted hook, and I'm not sure what we would use that for. I think it was just to, like, Again, big fish or whatever. Don't hate. Just tell me what it's supposed to be used for in the comments. Just don't be haters, okay? I'm new, and I'm trying to do something different. And these are laser sharp double drop steel wire rig. Not sure what or how to use those. Nope. And then we got one we got hooks for snappers that came in the kit. I got this knife at Walmart. And we can How the hell does this open? Alright, okay. I got so serrated knife. I got this knife at Walmart for ninety eight cents. Get me fish. We're getting the fish, and then we got stringer, which is red, which came with the kit. <coughs> These are the only things I really bought for myself, which I don't know what it would be good for, but somebody told me that was a good line to get. I got 20 pound test Omniflex fishing line, and there's three things of. Worms. Strike King worms. I'm trying to get. They're kind of like gummy worms, but they're not oh. edible. Yeah, but you keep moving it, and I'm trying to focus. I'm trying on to it. hold it. Sorry. I'm trying to get onto the label. <coughs> <coughs> sorry again. Sorry about my coughing. It's called. The, it says the ultimate soft plastic lures and tubes. I couldn't find actual bait at Walmart, so this is the closest thing I could find in the bait Let's section. Oh, big pass. Big pass. Yeah, they're basically gummy worms. They kind of look like gummy worms. And they smell like gummy worms, even though they're not edible. But we got three different colors. This one... It smells like black licorice. What color is this one? This one is the red and black one. It's a red... This one is red and black. There's the red side. Flip it over. And there's the black side. <coughs> and then we've got one that is black and blue. And then one that is... I'm trying to get it to focus. You want me to take one out so it's easier to see? I was trying to read the little label that tells you what color it is. Oh, this one is This one green is called and Baby Bass. It's basically green and white. It's like green and white. There's the white part, and there's the green part. And they're, they're very wiggly. And somebody recommended that I have one of these, and that basically you put the, you hook the fish on here, and mm. it weighs, it actually will weigh the fish. Yeah, it's one of the places. I have something to measure the fish, and now I have, apparently I have something to weigh the fish. Yeah. Uh, I'll explain to you my thoughts on that in just a moment. My thoughts on this are, somebody wants me to get my butt pulled in the water by something bigger than me. <laughs> Why would I need something to measure and weigh a fish when I weigh a buck eleven? I think somebody wants me to get pulled into the water or they think I have more strength than I actually do. So I also got a life preserver. Okay, right now we are on my side of the tent. There's the tackle box. There's Pixie's bug spray. There's Pixie in her little booty, the Dr. Pepper box. And it goes up and up. This is a little thing, and it zips down to divide the two rooms. Kaylin, that's Kaylin's room. There's two different doors. Kaylin has her own door. I have a door. It 
I think we kind of oops when we put it together because I don't think it's supposed to be. I think we oops. I don't think it's supposed to be falling down. I have to like literally stand in Kaylin's area just to stand up. But we can actually stand upright, and we think we found a YouTube video that showed us our oops with it. So we'll see you later, YouTube.